Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Highway to Mamasville. Today's video is going to be about the portfolios. What to expect, what you need, all the details is to come in this video. I did a video the other week on crash course for homeschooling. However, I did, and I did show the portfolio some, but I did get a couple questions personally about wanting to see more about the inside of the portfolio, what it looks like, what is needed and included. So I'm going to give a little bit more in depth of the portfolio today. So that is to come. But until then, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you get notified when I come out with more videos, um, which are going to be like a couple times a week here right now. And also make sure you subscribe to Family For Real. We have a family vlogging channel for our five, for us and our five kids. Just make sure you check out the description below. All the different social media stuff is going to be below. I have a new Instagram account called Highway to Mamasville, and I have a Facebook called Family for Real. All those social media is going to be in the link below. So just check that out and make sure you follow us um, everywhere you can. Just briefly, since I just started back up again, just to let you know, I'm a homeschool mom of five. I have uh, Talia, who's 14. Cohen, who is 11. I have Brody, who is eight, almost nine. I have Kellyanna, who is six, and Linnea, who is three. Three girls, two boys, homeschooled for eight years. Um, this video is gonna be about the portfolio, and I'll be having a lot more videos to come. So join, um, join me as we delve into this portfolio now. All right, so here is the portfolio. Here's my son in the 2018 2017-18 year, grade three he was in. And I just, uh, here's one for Brody that same year. Here's one for Brody the following year. And Talia, that same year as what Cohen was in when he was in grade three, she was in grade six. He, so what you wanna do is just get a binder that is, I get ones that are pretty thick, but you can get away with thinner. This one is a thinner one that year. It depends on how elaborate you wanna make it. You can be very simple like I was in Brody's last year, but I try to be a little bit more elaborate than I need to be just because it's kind of like a snapshot for me and for memories as well for my child to look back on. So I also look at it for memories. So I get one of these portfolios and I usually get the kind with the sleeve in it and I either print out something like this that says their name, what year it is and what grade they're in and slide it in like I did in all these ones or I get a picture like this like I did if I want to get more fancy another year. I didn't have time for it. I didn't have time for it in some other years, but I have this picture of, T of Talia saying what grade she's in. Although it doesn't say the year on it, but anyway, that's what I try to do in the front. There is his Certificate of Achievement Award. The certificate is proudly awarded by um, for Cohen for the successful completion of his CAT test. I know I had said in the crash course for homeschooling that you needed to have a, you needed to have testing in Pennsylvania for grade three, five, and grade eight. He was in grade three this particular year, and so we had to do the testing, and I always choose CAT untimed testing. I'll have the link below in my description, but we use CAT testing, and he, they go through the untimed version, and this was just showing that he completed the testing to his evaluator. The testing we used that year was called Academic Excellence. We used that um, several times now and really like it if you look up Academic Excellence. But like I said, the link will be in the description below. But it gives his grade, all his grade equivalent scores. And you can see that he does very, very well. Like in the grade he was supposed to be in versus the grade he uh, was actually tested for. Um, he came out with the test with flying colors that year, but this is to show his testing. Then next you'll notice I have attendance calendar for academic year, and I have the academic year there. And there is just 180 boxes that I checked off. Total number of school days attended, 180, and then the student's name. I get this off of uh, Ask Pauline. Now I was told that Ask Pauline isn't up to date on some of the new regulations for homeschooling, so don't use it for that purpose. Um, for all the in, in and outs of homeschooling, you wanna probably go to CHAP, unless you're not part of the Pennsylvania State, and 
then you um, then you need to look up for your state. But this is what we need for here. But Aspoline is great to still use for the free documents that you can look up. This I got for free as a free printable on there, free PDF, and I just print it out and check the boxes. I have fire safety questions. They'll want to see something for fire safety. Here is, I just print a free printable with questions for them for fire safety and have the kids fill it out. So here is a just list two ways to help. If you see a fire, what is your address? Where is the fire extinguisher in your home? What should you do if you close her on, catch on fire? What is the best way to get out of the house from your bedroom? What is the second best way? Where should you go after a fire or fire drill at home? So I usually, um, ha you know, print out something like this or say what kind of YouTube, um, YouTube videos they watch for fire safety. Either that or I'll print out a map of my house if it hasn't changed and show all the exit strategies that to get out of my house and print out the map and put it in the portfolio. So next you'll notice they always want to see a reading list or you can call it a reading log. Here is his reading log for the year. You can put anything on it. You can put a, the Bible, you can put books that they've read, you can put curriculum that they've read, you can put just any books, uh, devotionals they've read. If they are a part of Awanas, they can put in their Awana book like I did here. Just a bunch of different kinds of things can go on there. Now I just put different certificates they got from their co-op. Another certificate, another certificate. Sorry, I'm just covering up the last name there. Another certificate. Now, here's where I'll just like um, talk about, say, art class, what they did for art class that year. And I'll just type it out and print it out, like what they did for each subject and kind of slide it into a, slide it into one of these sleeves. So there is just a description that I talk about. The kids watch our Hover Kids on YouTube and learn some new things to draw. Ty has also took Ty has also taken some cake decorating classes at Joanne Fabrics. And so I just go into detail and just talk, you know, to, so the evaluator can just read a couple paragraphs about what they did for that subject. Same with music. I just talk a little bit about in a paragraph that they can see what we've done. Other things that he drew for his art class. And you don't have to include this many pages. I just Put it in as part of our memories to look back on. There's his wimpy kids drawing. There I go into talking about what he what they did for gym, what they did for health. Like I said, just a description. We had gym class this year at Awana's. And our co-op on Thursdays, they played basketball at home with neighbors at a trampoline. So I just go into describing that and for health. Um, we had a baby last year and Talia and Cohen got a crash course again in taking care of babies. They were a big help. So I just go into talking about that and that, she, and that Talia read some American Girl body books that year for health. And there is my history described, what we did. We listened to different Story of the World audio. We also worked on Evan Moore geography books. We also learned some history of Thanksgiving, St. Patty's Day, and other holidays throughout the year. We went on a lot of field trips this year too, which you can see in the slideshow that I, I made a slideshow that year. You don't always need a slideshow, but I made a slideshow of pictures for them to see all the field trips we took. Cohen did geography at co-op and Ty did geography at the library book club. And there's just like a little sticker of one of the history lessons we had, like for a field trip we went on to Lancaster. But I did have a slideshow made for them too that year with pictures of, of the field trips we took. And then here's some pictures of what we did for history that year in here, just showing some of that, some samples. I know everybody wants to see like samples of what, what you did, so. Here's like a sample of his geography book, Evan Moore geography book, and some more of that Evan Moore geography book. And then here I describe math. They both have been working on teaching textbooks and this has been working well for us. We're not doing teaching textbooks anymore. 
but I'm going to be explaining more about CTC math, which is what we do now. And in there I included some samples of his teaching textbooks workbook for math. So this is, a, you know, kind of what they want as an evaluator if you live in a state that needs a portfolio. So here's just some samples of his math. And I just put some from the beginning of the year. Like a, for each subject, you just want some from the beginning of the year, some from the middle of the year, and some from the end of the year to show growth. They just want to see that they're growing, they're learning, they're advancing in what they know. For English, I said they both worked on easy grammar books, spelling UC books. Vocabulary Journal, Abeka Read and Think books, and other reads. And then I just go into talking, just go into the samples after I go into a brief description and show some of their spelling you see books that you'll see there that he worked on there. There's some of his grammar now that I am showing. Some of his read and think now that I'm showing in here. And then I show science. We went through some of the Apology of Human Body book that year. We went on a lot of nature walks and field trips that you can see in the slideshow as well. They also learned, to, um, they also did experiments. They had, Cohen had, had Tinker Crate that year, did a lot of engineering for that. He's now a part of robotics which I count for science too, a robotics club. And that counts as part of his science curriculum. Home ec, Cohen went to Home Depot classes with his dad and brother to build things and also help with projects at home. So Ty went to baking classes with my mom and cake decorating classes with me. So I just did, you know, describe that to the evaluators so they can quick read. There's about Bible, they all participated in Iwanas, they all went to church and did family devotions, as well as personal devotions. Ty started attending youth group. You can see these things in the slideshow as well. There is like a ticket for going to see Jesus, for sight and sound, for Bible. There is some of his Iwana stuff. And uh, like I guess a craft he had done for that. And I just include some different things in the pockets that don't fit. Or in, the, in these pockets right here, I will just include uh, a note so in this sleeve, you'll just see, here's a note from the evaluator that I completed the year. This is what, um, you know, I presented to the evaluator, this portfolio, and she in return gave me this letter and I slipped it in the sleeve here. So I always have proof if anything, if the school, if the school district comes back to me. I gave this to the school district, but they made a copy for me. And I, I always ask for a copy and slide it into the portfolios, or I try to do that anyway, just so I have proof. But this is the, the letter in which you will receive from the evaluator showing that, and, and showing from the evaluator, and this is what you'll give to the school district, just this one piece of paper right here. This is what my daughter did one year just to keep her stuff organized, things to put in my portfolio. She had her own little folder, and then she just kind of slipped things throughout the year that, you know, she wanted to put in there, you know, to not get lost, to be able to put in her portfolio. This is a bunch of artwork she did. So maybe you want to give a little folder to your children throughout the year that they can stay organized and put stuff in that they know mom and dad would want to use for the portfolio at the end of the year. And you know that definitely certainly helped. She had her own reading log in this folder and her own checklist because she is um, she was a middle schooler here. So that's what she did to try to stay organized. Here's an example of a little kid, Brody. So again, I just went into detail, basically just saying what he did throughout the year, these that I just typed out. A lot of it was that for him that year because it was very simple. And I didn't have to turn in anything really for him, but I think I did it behind here. So there you got a certificate for fire the firefighter challenge because he was a part of firefighter week. And there's just a bunch of samples for each subject. In here you'll see R, you'll see English, 
history. Now this was a really simple one that year because he was very young. So it's not that thick. So there's some of his artwork. He went to an art class down the street and they did some pretty cool stuff with him. So there's Talia's reading list that year. Another fire safety question. Another scoring for her because she was in fifth grade that year. And again, it looks very similar to the other one. Just a bunch of math work. I explained about math and there's her math work. And there I explained about English. She worked on growing with grammar, soaring with spelling and winning with writing. She also read books and I read some books to them. I just explained that to the evaluator and provided some samples. All right, history. That's when I just went, like I said, again, another explanation for history. We did my father's world state pages that have you that have you learned the history of each state and geography of where it is located you also learn the state bird and state flag with them so and i also just went into detail st patty's day election and election we learned about that year we went to the wright brothers museum i learned about the history of flight and there's a st patty's day sheet for the history of st patty's day and another samples of sheets she did that year Bible, Talia participated in Awana. She learned her, her ribbon at the end of the year. She earned a ribbon at the end of the year by completing her book. She went to church and family devotions. There is her Awana award she got. And I go into explaining art and music. She went to a Nutcracker ballet that year. So I just explained that right there. And there's some drawings that she worked on. Now, mind you, she was a lot younger back then, but it is still really cute. Science. She learned about the solar system this year. We read in we read in the books Wonders of Creation for Astronomy and read other books that pertained to it, like the moon like the moon book. We painted and put together the solar system. We made the moon phases with Oreos. We also did other various experiments throughout the year that had nothing to do with the solar system, just for fun. We went on plenty of nature walks. We went on field trips to the zoo, the aquarium, Peace Valley Nature Park beaches and parks. So I explained that to her. And again, I just put in different things she worked on. So that is a gist of portfolios. Hopefully this helps and you get an idea of what you need for portfolios and it's helpful to you. Like I said, I like to include pictures when I meet with the evaluator and have a little slideshow or have a little bit of pictures printed out for them and a little photo book. But this is uh, what a portfolio can look like. It doesn't have to get that advanced where you include pictures. I just like to show the field trips we went on. So there you go. There's a couple of the portfolios I showed you in more detail. And hopefully that helps. Hopefully that was helpful to you. And here's one more portfolio sample. I don't even know if you care to see it, but after seeing uh, several of them, but there's what I explained for Jim, what he did that year. You can pause it to read it. The art, music. Bible, history, science, home ec, English. And if you really want to read them, you can pause it to read it. There's math. I was very sick this year and they learned about sickness and helping others a lot as they helped me and watch others help me. They learned about healthy eating as I gave up gluten, dairy, and sugar. And they watched my health improve and me discuss it. We also got in a car accident and some of them had to visit the chiropractor for a while and got a lesson on bone structure. And there is a there is his schedule for robotics. I'm just showing that is the year he started robotics club and included that for science. There is his fire safety challenge printed out from fire week. His book list, he did it himself that year. Again, the fire safety questions we go over each year, the checklist we have each year, and again, more samples.
And this year I just I included the samples, all the samples together. Like I said, about three, for, about nine pages for each subject, three from the beginning, three from the middle, three from the end for each subject you work on. And that's what I include in here. There's reading things, spelling, grammar, some math. So there you go. That's it. Oh, and there's some of his artwork. They do very well on their art. There's his eyeball. They really enjoyed the art teacher they had that year. And here's some of his artwork. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below about the portfolios or anything else with homeschooling, and I'll try to fit it in future videos. Until then, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did, and uh, see you next week, guys.